Okay, this is Jake. Here we have the uh, Qingwu Ku Edge Blaster. And you can see the model is YEP. Uh, the uh, Challenger Mark III uh, used to be YES. So I'm guessing this P stands for plastic and the S in Mark III stands for steel because this blaster is mainly all plastic. So let's just open it. Okay, this is the first patch, the standard version. Uh, it comes with the box and instruction book. So this is all in Chinese. We'll get to this later. And then we have uh, one magazine, uh, charging cable, small standard battery, and the blaster itself. So the first batch only has uh, this black color, and uh, I think there were only 700 made. And for the first batch, they have a gold serial number on each blaster. So my one is 224. Uh, there should also be a uh, brown color and a orange color, but uh, I've heard that the orange color is only for overseas markets. So in, here in China, we will only be able to get the black one and the uh, brown one, but for the first patch, only black ones. Well, first, we'll just have a quick look at the instruction manual. And here you can see it is for ages 18 and up, so don't let your kids play with this alone. If they're younger than 18, at least uh, sup be supervising them when you're letting them play with this. Okay, this is the back, and uh, these are the uh, names of the parts here. And we can see uh, the, we have to charge the battery before you use. I've heard some people using the battery before they charge, and the battery got burned. So the uh, standard battery is 11.1 volts, 3S LiPo battery. Charging voltage is 0.5A, but I've heard what people recommend is 0.4. Okay, let's open this. Okay, so this here is telling you how to insert the battery, and if you put it the wrong way, it will not fit inside. So you can't turn it 180 and press it inside. And here is the two release buttons for the battery and here is the mag release and here is telling you to put the darts in flat and not and a slightly angled position and uh, here is how to charge the battery and here is the uh, bolt re release button showing how to use it and here is the stock release button and here it's telling you to press down on the stock release button again when you need to put the stock back in. Okay, here we have the mag. We can see that the bottom has two screws so it is easily removable and not like some others when you just use plastic clips to clip it in and if you remove that several times you might break the clips so the screws are much better so if you want to open it to clean it or for some other reason change the screen or something and uh, here we can see it has marks for the number of darts inside we can see 5 and 10 but the uh, instruction manual recommends 13 darts and uh, this is how many darts we have here now but uh, uh, after you have uh, like 13 10 maybe darts the darts will be squashed squished a little so these marks will not be accurate anymore because according to this mark we should have only 12 darts but we can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 this is actually 13 darts so, I'll take one out, take two out, take three out. So actually we have 10 darts here and you can see that this is not accurate. Okay, just one, two, three, four, five.
Okay, this is five darts, and when it's at a five darts, it's actually more accurate. And if you just put new five new darts inside, it will be actually a bit more accurate. But these have been squashed a little bit because we put thirteen inside. And here, you're like four small knobs here that prevents you from pushing the mag into the blaster too, too much. And you can see on the top that this is. This is like the uh, Mark III of Dot Zone Pro. They have the two lips here, plastic with um, springs. And this is better when you have lots of darts and the uh, spring down here is putting a lot of pressure on it. So the darts won't fall off. But uh, there was one problem that I had here is the lip on this side. I've cleaned it up already. I'll show you a picture later. That there was a little bit piece of plastic here pointing out, and uh, I'm not sure, but uh, I've seen also one other person with the same problem. So if, if you buy this thing, make sure that you clean this part here first. And I'll put a picture up later. Okay, here we have the standard, also the small battery. So at the bottom, we can see it says LiPo battery 3S 11.1 volts, 400 mAh. And here are the clips we're releasing. Okay, this is the charging, uh, 3S charging port. And the interesting thing here is you can see po sorry, a positive and positive. So you have to check the wires colors inside the battery. So this, is, should, this should be positive and this should be negative. But for some reason, um, the battery itself, it's positive on two sides. So uh, if you need to charge this battery using these two, you have to be make sure you don't connect them wrong. Okay, this is the uh, charging cable. Uh, 3S can connecting on both sides, nothing special about it. But uh, for some people, you might this might not be enough for you to charge the battery, and I will show you later. So finally here we have the blaster itself. So let's just have a look on the outside first. Okay, here is the uh, serial number of the first patch. It comes in gold. Uh, after the first patch, I think it will might be silver or something. And let's see here, made in China, designed by Will Wu. Uh, this, is, this is the boss and owner of Tunku. Okay, here we have the model number, YEP Model 1. Edge. As I said before, I think this YEP P stands, stands for plastic. Uh, YES for the Mark III should stand for steel because it has uh, metal steel parts inside the Mark III, but this is mainly all plastic. Okay, so let's have a look on the other side. Okay, this is the Dart and Dart Sides and company name here. We have a Chinook cool logo here, and press to eject the stock on this side. And okay, and nothing special about here. On the back, we have five stars. And uh, for those who don't just do not know, these are the uh, five stars on the Chinese national flag. Okay, and on top here we have two holes for the rail but the standard version does not come with the rail you have to buy it separately and here we have the sights and you can see here this piece of plastic actually uh, can move a little see okay and also on the back they actually move a little too but I think it's not a big problem. On the back here, you have two screws, and actually you can see that uh, this is, the side on the back here is adjustable to the left and right a bit, but up and down is not adjustable. And here is the uh, trigger. It is also plastic, and there is a uh, safety here. You have to press here to release. And uh, this thing is, uh, if you prime, this is also plastic, you prime, you can pull here. 
uh, or you could just pull here it also works you could uh, maybe press on both the problem is actually a bit hard for, uh, I think so kids let me under 12 might not be able to prime it and here uh, oh I think I need a flashlight okay now I have the flashlight on you can see the barrel has a built-in scar barrel inside actually and here we have two places that you can strap something on if you want for some reason you want to strap it on your shoulder or something okay and here there is actually a switch inside here but you cannot access it with the battery installed but there is a small hole here that you can poke something inside to press this button i've asked people and they say this button is for uh testing or set some factory settings and do not push it so i would not recommend anyone trying to push it after the battery is installed okay here are the few things i missed earlier so there is also a short rail down here that you could uh, add a laser or a flashlight on and you can see this one has one two three four gaps inside and for the top the rail that fits here should be a rail that has uh, 11, 11 gaps it will fit here and uh, okay the uh, the barrel is plastic it is removable uh, i would change it later but uh, not in this video okay and the there is a hole on the back here and uh, if you can see this piece of square or rectangular plastic inside, that means the blaster is primed. So if I press the trigger, see? And here you can see the release mechanism on the back. Okay, I put another five darts inside and you can see after if the darts are not squeezed too hard, this line here for five darts is quite accurate. Okay, let's push it in. Install the battery. Uh, these two steel parts are on the back. The charging dock is in the front. Okay, let's prime it. Uh, for some people, I've seen that when firing the blaster, this stock would release by itself. I haven't tried firing this position yet, so let's see if it will happen to mine. Oh, looks like nothing is happening to mine, so mine sh stock should be good. Okay, let's have a look at the top. So here... This part is a dart guard, and it will actually slide out when it's being coming back. And when you push, when this part goes forward, it will actually push it back inside. And then the pusher it will come here and push the dart forward. I do not have a mag inside, and the uh, bolt lock works only with the mag inserted. So you can see here, this is some mechanism will push a button or something. So if even if it's empty without the mag, you can keep firing. Okay, let's push this inside. Okay, now it's empty. Release. So after you finish using this and you need to release the spring here, I would recommend you take out the battery and put your finger here, then pull the trigger or it will just keep firing. Each, after each fire, it will push the spring back and it will be loaded again. So I take the battery out, put my finger here, fire, and then you can put it back. I'm going to put one more dart in the mag and put it inside. I'm going to pull here so you can see what happens inside when it's being primed. Put it back. Okay, now they see there is no guide. Then on, when it comes further back, the guide comes out. 
to here and when it goes forward it will, and then it's primed so actually even without the battery you can use this blaster primed manually but uh, I don't think anybody would do that Okay, now we'll do a FPS test on the chronograph using these uh, self-made worker bamboo darts. I think uh, these are uh, Gen 2, we call them Gen 2 in China, but overseas I think they're called Gen 3 for some reason. Okay, let's start. 138, 130, and here we have a jam, and uh, they have recommended if it don't not push this back forward if when it's jammed, uh, because it might hurt the motors. So I think I'll just take the battery out, push it back, and see we have a jam here. So I have been getting jammed a lot, but uh, after some testing, I found that uh, the way you push the, put the darts in the mags matter a lot to this blaster. So I'm um, okay, focus here. I found that you have to push them inside, and when you push it down, push the dart forward. Okay, so let's another one. Push it forward. And uh, these are all not, not new darts, Steve. These are have been used at least five, six times already. Okay, let's put this in. Oops, down. Go forward. Okay, forward. Forward. How many times do we have? Okay, I think there's maybe two more. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we have ten darts. Let's do another chronograph test this way and see if it jams or not. Sorry, forgot the battery. Okay, let's put another one in, make it 10 parts. Okay, the first was 136.4, prime it. Uh, well, this has happened several times for me already. After manually priming the first, it will not re automatically reload. So, but if I do a second time, at least for me, now it always works. Okay, let's do it again. 136.2. 137. 136.133. 134, 134, 140, 131, 142, 134, and we're empty, and no jam. So make sure to push the darts forward a bit after you blow them into the mag. And this helps a lot because I've been having lots of jams after the first one and uh, then I tried adjusting the position of the darts a bit and uh, before taking this video I've like tried I think three or four mags and I haven't got any jams so far okay now I have put 10 more unused worker gen 3 self-made bamboo darts inside and see how the numbers go
See, and it did not automatically reload again for some reason. I don't know why. But the second time it always works. Okay, this is the 144. 142, 141, 141, 142, 141, 142, 140, 142, and it's empty. So uh, you can see it was using unused new darts. The numbers are a bit better, and the lowest there were none under 140. Let's have a look at the playback numbers. Okay, here uh, the f 1 to 11 were the first Mac that uh, were the used darts. Okay, okay. see, we have 136. Uh, there was until number 8 that it got to 140. And then went back to 131, 142. So it was like usually to number 11. There was only two above 140 FPS. And after changing to the unused darts, starting from number 12, 144, 142, 41, 44, 41. And see, all of them were over 140. The lowest was under 140.4. So Darts actually matter. Here I have a piece of paper at 10 meters away, which is 33 feet. For the first shot, I was aiming a little bit high, so it missed the paper, but all the next nine shots hit the piece of paper. So I think accuracy is uh, not that bad. Okay, now we're going to talk about charging. So we have there is a 3S charging socket here, and we just push the uh, wire that came with the blaster inside. And if your charger can charge di directly with only this cable, then it's very simple for you. But uh, for somebody like me who has a charger like this and you need the extra black and white uh, the black and red cables to charge then uh, it's gonna be a bit more complicated so you would have a uh, kind of socket like this which has uh, different sockets so we just push this side into the 3s okay then from here two wires come out for me i come out to a xt60 then i had to connect pegs on like this on here okay so now you have to be careful because uh here as we said before positive and positive you cannot connect the wires according to these signs you have to look inside these two holes and see the color of the wires so you might not be able to see here but uh, you can, I can see inside here it's red and here it's black so you have to use the pegs to connect here and oh, and here okay so now the battery is connected let's do the settings okay light pole cells 3s Correct capacity. Okay, recommended is 400. So charging at 0 0.4 amps. Okay, let's choose here. Now we can have a look at the battery here. Okay, now it's at 3.87. Okay, then we have to choose charging. Uh, this is a balanced charging Chinese. So here we go. And like that. 
uh, battery is charged, but you'll need to get, get need to get uh, extra wires and pigs. <laughs> 